what if I told you that the biggest thing that will perpetuate a procrastination problem is your own ambition? Stay with me as I expand this idea. So when a person is really struggling with procrastination, typically there's this inner voice and it's telling them, it's laying a guilt trip on them. And it's, it's what I call the little inner have to voice. You have to do that. You need to do that. You should do that. You should have done it yesterday. It's too late now. It's not going to be good enough. And what I try and do is I, I help people to, to, first of all, identify that that voice is actually not me at all. So you're kind of dissociating from it. And then choosing a different inner talk, a different ethos, philosophy for yourself, different story. And it's very f- effective. There's lots of things you can do. But one of the main things is, is not even the psychological stuff of changing your story or changing your narrative. It's putting in boundaries and only taking, uh, making small commitments, not taking on too big of a, of a task, right? Now, here's the thing. This is where we'll see a regression. Person will say, okay, David is saying, only commit to small tasks. They, they go away and they put that into practice and invariably it'll work. They're no longer resistant to take an action because the nervous system has not been asked to take on these gargantuan tasks. Okay, it's more cooperative with taking on these small commitments. And their procrastination is kind of going away. And they're noticing, funnily enough, counterintuitively, that they're getting a lot more done. Now that's great. It's almost as if the problem is solved. The tricky thing here that we need to remember is that you get into a pattern then of high productivity. And the inner critic or that little have to voice very subtly starts to have this expectation that you are now this person who does a lot and every day a lot is required of you. So you, it, it comes back again, this little uh, ex, ex, uh, expectation that you have to do an awful lot of work every day. You should be doing more. You need to do it more. Uh, you should have done it yesterday, right? So you become a, a victim of your own success. The cycle can be that you overcome it by realizing I need better boundaries and only small commitments to small tasks. But that'll work. You'll get over the procrastination. You go back into high productivity, but this expectation comes in again that puts you back into the procrastination problem. The takeaway, the message here is you, in order to stay productive, you commit to and you stick with what works which is a commitment to only ever committing to small tasks. It doesn't matter how effective you become. And to do that, we need to kind of, on a daily basis, remind ourselves, really, we're changing our complete, our work ethos, our whole relationship to productivity. Gone will be the, uh, the hustle culture, the grind, do more, push yourself. And now it's going to be self-care, self-maintenance, small consistent daily growth small steps steps that i know i can achieve steps that seem uncomfortably easy almost as if well that's too easy that's the right steps that's the right amount of uh uh, of a commitment you should be making to yourself on any given day anything that comes after that is a bonus but that's um, where we begin So just watch out for being a victim of your own success when you start to get over procrastination. It's a very subtle thing, that programming of that hustle culture of the self-improvement thing, do more, do more, do more, is very deeply ingrained in us and it can come back in as this expectation to achieve more and be doing more all the time. But keep practicing the story. There's a, there's a, a story technique I talk about in my book on procrastination. It's very effective for this little daily reminders. It's not really uh, self-affirmations or even like law of attraction stuff. It's more of a daily reminder of how you are relating to yourself in terms of these projects that you're taking on. Am I going to uh, support myself unconditionally? Am I going to give myself healthy boundaries with this project? Am I going to see every project as important, but none are as important as me? These are kind of the, the, the ideas we discuss in that book. So I hope that was a useful video, guys. It might help some of you guys out there that have had, you got over it, but you kind of regress a little bit. 
don't feel that anything has gone wrong. You can be actually a victim of your own success in that regard, as I've, I've explained. So I hope that's a useful video. And uh, I don't know, if you've got any comments or feedback, let me know below. And um, I'll see you again in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.